I'm going to show you how easy it is to control something in the real world directly from a website. So this is Puck.js, this is a Bluetooth beacon that runs JavaScript, uh, it's currently on Kickstarter. And we have here a web page that's um, very, very simple. You've got three buttons, uh, which are, are shown here, and we've got um, a simple script file that we're loading up. When you click on a button, um, it says puck.write and it's got some JavaScript code. And this JavaScript code will actually be sent directly to the puck and will be executed on it. So if I now click on, um, it, the web browser will ask us um, what device we want to connect to. Let me just choose connect. And now the, the light will light up. And now it's connected, it's almost immediate to get it to do things. In fact, we can um, we can actually uh, get it to do other things as well. So if I um, just do pucks up right, and I want to turn on maybe the second LED, I can do that very easily. Um, but I can actually um, I can send it complete commands to execute. So this one will use set interval to actually schedule a task to happen every half second, which will flash the light on and off. Um, you can actually ask it to evaluate something and get a result as well. So, for instance, if I click this, the button's not pressed, so it will currently return false. But if I um, go and I, I actually press it, and I look now, it will say true. So, um, you're not just limited to LEDs and buttons. Um, the puck will sense uh, magnetic fields. It's got a light sensor in it as well. It's also got an infrared transmitter, so you can use it to fake an infrared remote control. So, for instance, you can control your television directly from a website um, using nothing more than a command that will, will send an infrared signal out. So it's amazingly powerful. Um, Puck.js is currently on Kickstarter. It's about halfway through. So um, if you don't back it now, you'll have to wait until probably January 2017 before you'll be able to order one. Thanks for watching.